Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Not Playing Magic. Um, I'm going to be in a minute joining the uh, Thursday Night Magic Online. Uh, I did the one earlier and I was about to go 2 and one when the servers crashed. I'm, crashed. I'm sure many of you uh, on, what is this, Thursday, July 5th had the same experience at about um, 12.30 Central, so 10.30 Pacific and from there on. Um, so anyways. Uh, I was playing Black Zombies, and that deck can go 2-1 and one or 3-0 and oh without a problem, but I figure since it's a two-ticket entry, uh, I'm going to try a few different things, I think, on Thursday Night Magic. So I'll show you the two decks I'm debating between, and then you'll have to tune in and see which one I end up playing. Um, so for the first one, I have a Mono Green um, deck that I kind of enjoy. Uh, so this deck here is basically the Fight Bear deck. Um, seven versions of fighting in the deck. Uh, two Ambush Vipers, these are actually very good. Um, I'm surprised I don't see more play. I guess that and, and if you're playing any other color besides green, you have removal available to you, which Death Touch essentially does, except for against Flyers with the Viper. Um, playing the Scorn Villager for the Accelerators, I only play 22 lands, so the Scorn Villagers I actually consider kind of like lands. Uh, I consider them like half a land each, I guess you'd say, because uh, sometimes they get pinged, sometimes they stay alive for their turn, so... I like to think of them as half a land, so that puts me up to, to 24 lands, which is pretty cozy. Um, four Geist, I feel like if you're playing any amount of forests, uh, more than half, and you don't have four Geist, um, you should have a good reason why you don't. Uh, it's just a, the power level on that card is unbeatable. Um, then I have three Predator Ooze, uh, which um, for obvious reasons is amazing in the Fight Club deck. Uh, if they're playing any sort of um, non-tragic slip removal, uh, like sever the bloodline, then that's going to take their whole turn four or five, and then a flashback at turn seven or eight. At that time, you've already ramped into your giant creatures, and uh, you're in a good place. So, uh, Wolf, your Avenger, and Predator Ooze are my main three drops. I also play a champion. If this is one of the, in my opening hand, I'm pretty happy. If I draw it later, uh, not so much. And I do play one Triumph. One thing about this deck is if you keep a hand that's kind of iffy, like maybe you have, you know. Uh, a good example of a hand I would probably keep five lands, a silver heart, and an Avenger, or five lands, a Geist, and a silver heart. Well, then you start drawing into lands and you flood out really quickly, so having this up uh, gives you another outlet. Um, three Garricks I like, and actually I like Garrick for the uh, tutor ability, um, the um, minus one Veil Cursed Garrick. Uh, also, don't mind having um, Token Fodder uh, as the the zero use ability here. Um, one thing to note, uh, if you have a champion out and you start making tokens, um, it counts as the entry effect for champion's counter, so that's something to consider. And then here's really where the beef of the deck is. Um, there's a lot of, I don't want to say like reanimator style decks, but I've played, played a lot of decks that are actually now including Sigarda, Gisela, and, and those kinds, and they're hard to really deal with. Um, a flyer in this format right now in Innistrad Block is just very good. So the nice thing about Revenge of the Hunted is uh, it's an instant kill on anything in the format, um, if you want it to be. So uh, Blessings of Nature, Wolf Ears, and Revenge of the Hunted are kind of the meat on that top end. And then a quick uh, sideboard uh, note here, because it's 8.58 and the event starts in two minutes. This is for the zombie matchup. Um, you can laugh if you want, but that card is actually amazing in the zombie matchup. And then two crates for all sorts of things. Naturalize in case you get the, the random... Um, uh, weird deck. And this is another one that I like. Um, if you're playing another big creature deck that isn't Wolfie or Silverheart, I don't even know really what that would be. Um, a fog is nice, and a, a specific fog for your wolves is also very good. Uh, one Witch Bane Orb, just in case you get like a Burning Vengeance. And th These are all specifically relevant on There's Night Magic on the low entry fee. Parallel Lives, um, don't know why this is in the board. I just really like this card, and I'm looking for a chance to play it. <laughs> Uh, there's really no reason to use it in this deck, and then one Tree of Redemption to slow things down if we play a uh, red-white aggro and we, we feel like we need to. So, uh, that's one we'll be using in Thursday Night Magic. Uh, it starts up in a few seconds, so I won't show you guys my other deck tech uh, until after, though on YouTube it will all come up at the same time. So, uh, enjoy watching me play this mono green deck in Thursday Night Magic um, on the channel. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave comments in, on how you change this deck up a bit. Uh, I'd be happy to hear them. I do enjoy mono green, so um, see you guys shortly.